Hello fellow bookquesters, it is I, Aaron the Bookquester. So today, I have this awesome book in my hand. How to Steal a Dog by Barbara O'Connor. More recently, who wrote Wish, one of the Sacramento books. Check it out. And it says Jordana Hayes may be homeless, but she's not hopeless. Let's get right on to it. I'm pretty sure this book shows a person's conscience how conscience um it prevails over all the bad things you want to do it actually says in the back half of me was thinking georgina don't do this stealing a dog is just plain wrong the other half of me says georgina you're in a bad catch and you'll do whatever it takes to get yourself out of that's like the fighting of the conscious inside her mind. And, well, let me just summarize a bit, shall we? Georgina Hayes had a dad, but her dad actually just dumped her and her mother and her little brother Toby, and she just walked out of the house, evil, and leaving only a couple added up dollar bills and a pile of coins. Absolutely devilish. And this evil, annoying dad had left them with nothing to live, not nowhere to live, but a car. That's right, they had nowhere to live, no bed, no things, no furniture. The only thing they had was a car, and they had to live in the car for a plain long while too. Georgina Hayes was becoming more and more desperate, and the final straw was in her when her best friend, a pretty stuck-up best friend, in my opinion, found out that she lived in a car. She told her best friend, the nosy one, to not tell anyone, but she was pretty sure that she could not be so faithful. And meanwhile, one day, while lying in the car, staring at the sky, out of the window, she sees a poster a really old faded poster, but readable nothingless. It said, Find this dog, reward $500. And she later on, she asked her mom, Would $500 be enough for us to buy a, buy a house? Of course $500 is nothing. It can't buy a, it can't buy a bike. Well, sometimes it can no less a house. But her mother, who was tired of the question, said, I guess so, honey. And that was the start of the plan of Georgina Hayes to steal a dog and catch its reward. First, she needed to find the right dog. The right dog should be a dog that seemed to be loved by the owner. And the dog also had to be, well, cute, fluffy, it won't bite, and also the owner had to be rich. So the reward, when the poster goes on it, will be pricey and enough for her to take. She scouts around on Whitmore Road and she finds a perfect dog named Willie. There's a picture of him here. And Willie was a perfect dog. And he didn't bite, he was nice, and, and his owner seemed to be super rich with a big house, and her name was Mrs. Whitmore, which, mean, which meant that she must own the entire street. And assuming that she still, had, she still owned the street, she stole the dog. And every time she felt her coins, conscious fighting inside of her. You should you just give it back and you should go with the plan and claim the reward. And then they met, meet um, Mrs. Whitmore. And Whitmore, she was rich. Sure, she, she, the only thing she had was that big old house full of boxes and Willie. That's the only thing she had. She didn't have $500. She barely had enough to feed herself. And so, our dear Mrs. Whitmore. And so, our dear character, Georgina, Georgina, she dearly regretted her situation 
and returned the dog to our Mrs. Whitmore and the case was over. She even told Mrs. Whitmore that she had been the one to steal the dog. And Mrs. Whitmore said that she didn't say anything actually, but she acted like it was all okay and it was all resolved. And, uh, and after that, a good thing, and she had done really good thing after all, it's really hard to confess that fact that she had stolen a dog and she had helped look for it. I mean, if I was the owner, I would be super mad. But Georgina did a good thing, did the right thing, and the right thing, the good, came right back to her. Her mother had managed to find a house. Of course, they had to share with share it with another family, but that would help pay the rent, and well, at, at least it beats sleeping in a car. And Georgina Hayes has her happy ending. And I think this is a great book that really makes you think what is right, what is wrong, what is my conscience, what is the mental fight inside of me. And I think it, it portrays this beautifully and I think this is a really good book and that you all should read it. And like always, your bookquester and the bookquester. Everyone loves, everyone loves dogs.